everyone, so I am finally doing my 10 Slimming World questions tag. Um, I'm finally getting round to it. Um, I was tagged by the lovely Trudy Beanie, so thank you very much. And I was also tagged by the beautiful Budget Slimmers, Laura and Kath. Thank you, ladies. So, yeah, got all my questions written down. So, haven't thought about them. I'm just going to read them off and answer them, whatever comes into my head. So, no laughing, no judging. So, the first question is, how has Slimming World changed your life? So, for me, Slimming World has really changed my life so far. Um, I started it because I wanted to look the best I possibly could for my daddy and my stepmom's wedding um, a couple of years ago. So I did what I could before then. I lost about a stone and a bit just before and I felt brilliant and I'm glad I did it and I'm glad I'm still carrying on with my journey because it's changed my life for the better. Um, if you follow, have been following me for a while, you know I suffer with anxiety and depression and it has gave me more confidence, it's gave me just more of an oomph to be able to get up and go and make me feel okay because I used to feel like everyone was looking at me, judging me and just didn't feel, I still have those moments guys, don't get me wrong, it will never go away, um, even if I'm a size zero, never going to happen, but you know, but it has changed me for the better. My mindset is better because I can go out and get the clothes that I want to get. And, and instead of getting embarrassed going up to the till with the bigger plus size clothes. And it's just, I get embarrassed easy. I overthink everything that I don't need to. <coughs> so part of that is, it's just drifting away now. So it has, it has made me more of a positive person. Question two. Name a person you can relate to that inspires you. So I'm going to have to say, there's a, there is a fair few out there, but one that is coming to my mind right now is my Slimming World consultant, Susie. She is brilliant. She has been through what I've been through. Um, she had anxiety while she was on the bigger side. <coughs> she is now a Target member. She looks brilliant. Her advice that she gives, I can relate to her so much because when I hear her speak, when she explains her Slimming World journey, it's just like me writing it down in a diary like how she feels, how she gets through her days, what she used to be like, how she is now and it just, that's why I like staying to my group as well, not just because of everybody in there that's brilliant and supportive, it's just, it's my consultant, she's she's amazing, she's like looking in a mirror sometimes, obviously she's slimmer, <laughs> but it, yeah, I can really relate to her and she inspires me to carry on each week, so I will have to go with my consultant Susie. Third question, do you have a treat after way day? No I don't. But I do have a treat day on a Sunday, a Saturday. I have a cheat meal, as you know, if you follow me. I have a cheat meal every Saturday. I have like a frozen pizza or something. I share it. Um, probably like a few chicken nuggets or something. Um, I've done this since I started my Slim World journey nearly three years ago. This January coming, but um, February, sorry. Um, but yeah, not on way day, but on Saturdays I do. Not saying you have to. It's just what I do, it's what I will continue to do. So, yes, on a Saturday, not on my way day, which is a Thursday. Um, question five, how do you distract yourself while craving sins? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, one of them, I'll just get up and do a spring clean of my flask if I'm really, really craving sins and I want them now and I shouldn't. I will get up and I will blitz my flat. I will do my bedroom, my bathroom living room, my kitchen, my little landing, I'll just blitz and keep myself busy for a good couple of hours. Or I will pop on a Disney movie, sit there, chill out with a cup of tea and just watch a Disney movie and colour in a colouring book. Um, you get these adult colouring books, all for kids, but they're more recommended for adults. I've got like a Harry Potter one. I will just sit there and I will colour them and I will just watch a Disney on the telly. Oh. <laughs> and... Um, before I know it, time's passed away and it'll be closer to dinner time or closer to my tea time, so I'm going to have something to eat. Whilst probably snacking on a boiled egg so I don't go for sins with a cup of tea. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I distract myself. Question six, how do you save money on Slimming World? Well, for me, this is a struggle because I don't work due to my illness. I am on benefits. Um, not that you need to know, but I, it is a tight budget. I get paid once every month. So for me, batch cooking, if when I get paid and I do a big shop once a month, I will get like 
mince and chicken and things like that and I would just batch cook like cottage pies, spaghetti bolognese, all that sort of stuff, pop them in my freezer and then take them out the night before if I want them or I'll keep a few in my fridge. Um, do a lot of sweet and sours and things because you can pop them with jacket potatoes and then the uh, spaghetti bolognese, mince and cottage pies and things you can pop with jacket potatoes or with other bits and pieces or just as it is with some veg stuff like that so I like to batch cook and pop some in my freezer and fridge so that that's saved back then as well I know I've got stuff when I run out of other things so that's how I do that um, number seven what areas do you need to work on in your weight loss journey willpower when I have a bad day I find it difficult to get straight back on track I struggle I think I'll oh, just start tomorrow I'll be alright I'll pick up again tomorrow I'm never know when to draw the line if I go off the rails or I can never get myself back on that train to steady rail it I'll go off when I'm off I'm off so I have to work on getting back on a lot quicker I'm getting better at it um I am starting to because I start I don't forgive myself for it so I give myself a hard time and then I comfort eat and then it's just a big circle so that's where I struggle when so I've gone off plan I need to make sure I'm okay to get back on it so I do need to work on it a little bit better as I have been getting better through my journey I still need to work on that willpower to stay motivated and keep on it permanent apart from the Saturday cheat meal <coughs> so that's where I need to work sorry about my cough guys I've got a bit of a chest infection from my cold <coughs> so I do apologize if I keep annoying you number eight what what Blah, 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 put your teeth in. Name a film that sums up your weight loss journey. Okay, now as I say, I'm just gonna say the first thing that pops into my head, so no laughing. Shallow Hell. Don't know if you've seen it, it's got Jack Black in it, um, and the woman out of Iron Man, I can't remember now. Um, but if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure you have, it's a plus size woman who is lovely and beautiful, and because Jack Black sees every woman has has to be thin to be beautiful he gets like a little curse thing put on him and he sees her as a, this lovely beautiful kind-hearted woman who is obviously the bigger girl but he doesn't see her that way because he's under some sort of spell and he falls in love with her and they stay together happy ever after but to me I relate because I am that bigger girl we all can be the bigger girl and see ourselves as something that we are not and we we're quick to judge people are quick to judge on people and how they look and how their appearance is and all that stuff but on the inside we're all beautiful we're all nice we're all on this journey together we're all doing it to feel and look better and we we're already beautiful we're already nice people can see that you are a nice person without having to be a skinny mini so for me shallow how i can relate to no judging <laughs> please uh, question nine, what's your quick go-to meal when in a hurry? My quick go-to meal would be jacket potato, beans and a side salad. I just, I like the, the salad you just get in a bag, the lettuce, mixed leaves. Just bung that on the side of a jacket potato. Jacket potato in the microwave for seven to, to eight minutes, a bit more if you like it longer. With some butter fry like so it's all crispy and buttery and then my beans on top and then a side salad, just some lettuce. And if, if I'm feeling fancy, I'll just chop up some cucumber and tomatoes and put that with it as well. If not, just bung a bit of lettuce out of a bag with jack potato and beans. That's my quick go-to meal when in a hurry. Question 10. Oh, what... Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. What high sins treat would you be prepared to spend your sins on? I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, the highest I would go would be... Uh, six sins for a curly whirly and that's only if I have them in the freezer so that they last longer because you have to chomp on them and suck the chocolate off and then the toffee on the inside is gooey afterwards but the highest I will go is six sins because I like to get a lot of sinnage worth for my sins <laughs> so that's the highest I would go I wouldn't go any higher than six for a curly whirly <coughs> that would be it I'm afraid so yeah that is my 10 questions Slimming World tag. Thank you very much, lovelies, for tagging me. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Love you all bunches, and I'll see you all in the next one.